Hello and welcome to 1715 Fox Run in Shakopee, Minnesota. Here's a little exterior shot of the home. This is a beautiful, large five bedroom home. We have a three car garage here. Just circle around and show you a little bit of the nice neighborhood. Um, this is a cul-de-sac here at the end, so it's not a drive-through, which is really nice for kids outside playing. And you have a little front porch. Sit and have your morning coffee. Okay, and we're gonna go inside and take a tour. A nice spacious foyer to greet all your guests. And then kind of a bonus room right here off of the foyer. Um, this could be used as a formal dining room, a playroom, an office. Um, I guess a formal living room, kind of whatever you need it to be. We've got wood floors and a nice large closet right there. And a cute little decorative um, cutout. And then it's a really nice open floor plan. Here's another one of those little cutouts. It's just kind of a nice custom features in a home. Here is the family room. Quite a bit of light in here, which is nice. Gas fireplace. And then it's open into the dining and kitchen area. Kind of got a little separation with the pillar. And on the other side of that are some shelves. So you've got a sliding glass door here out to the backyard. Just to kind of give you a little view of the back of the house and what that looks like. And then here is a great view of the kitchen. You've got an island with storage and to do a couple stools here for extra seating. And you've got stone countertops, a really pretty neutral backsplash. You've got tall ceilings in here, nickel hardware, and an undermount sink, gas stove, and you have like the high-low cabinets that add just a little bit of depth and character in the kitchen, some glass doors on kind of this little uh, dining buffet hutch, so to speak, if you want to use it as that. And pantry over here. And then this leads into a great mudroom. So if you're going to come in from the garage, right here, and here's just a little view of the three-car garage. Back view into the kitchen area, but this is great. You could do a bench here. Um, you've got a half bathroom of this location. And then here is a walk in pantry. Look at all that shelving. This is great for your. Costco or Sam's Club runs that come in huge quantities, <laughs> you have a place to store them. And there's also a closet, a walk-in closet here as well. All right, now let's go tour some more of the house. Here's another look back at the family room. We'll go downstairs first. Do you have a nice window here? Letting extra light in. And then you have this um, built-in bar area, which is really, really unique. It's all mirrored. It's got a sink. There's a wet bar. Just kind of a walk-up bar or a coffee station. 
as well. And to the right, right when we came down the stairs is a three quarter bathroom. This is actually the mechanical room. Nothing too exciting in here, but all necessity, of course. Water heater does have a water softener. And storage underneath the steps. And there's a bedroom on this level. This would be considered the fifth bedroom and has vinyl planking flooring. But you've got nice tall ceilings in here as well. And a closet. It's kind of another view. And then we'll go out into the family room. So this is a walkout. A patio door over here. And um, of course, it doesn't look too great since we just got that big blizzard on April Fool's Day. But good sized yard, and you've got some nice trees out there for privacy. And you have a family room down here, um, game room, whatever you need it to be, but lots of storage. And um, got some. Um, hookups up there if you wanted to put your TV on top of or on the fireplace I should say but that's a gas the second gas fireplace in the house just give you another little look back this room really could be you know game room and a living room or um, you know maybe a little exercise room like they are using it for so that's the lower level and now we're gonna go upstairs and we'll see the bedroom level. It's a pretty good sized house. So a little look back into kitchen. In the foyer. And then we're gonna go upstairs. And again, you have a nice window here um, in the stairwell. So it just feels nice and bright. Just kind of a look down. And we'll start by going into the owner's suite. It's nice and spacious. You've got a large picture window there ceiling fan. Really good size in here though. And then private bathroom, two sinks, and a jacuzzi tub, as well as a separate shower. I love having a window in the bathroom. You know, when you're getting ready, you can open it for some fresh air or steam. You know, when you're taking a hot shower. Okay, and then last but most important, maybe piece of the master is a large closet. My tenants are getting ready to move. So we've got some boxes and things. It's a pretty good space. And here is second bedroom. Again, nice large window. And big closet. Does not come with the Legos, sorry. <laughs> and spacious hallway too, which is nice. And then linen closet, 
extra storage. Here is the guest bathroom or kids bathroom, whatever you want to call it, on the upper level. Got a full tub shower and a nice size vanity. Tile floors. Here is bedroom number three. This one is very, very good size. And check out this large window seat that goes the full length of the wall. I can just picture doing some padding on there and curling up with a good book. Good size window. And here's kind of a look back. And a closet behind the door there. And we have one more bedroom up here. So this is number four on the upper level. Again, big window. Closet. Look back. And then we have one more room to check out. And that's the laundry room. So this is an upper level laundry room on the same level as the bedrooms, which is kind of nice. Washer and dryer, you've got shelving here. And that concludes the tour of 1715 Fox Run in Shakopee. Please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.